Are you trying to eat healthier so you can feel better in your body, but you feel like there's a part of you that's resisting, like rebelling or even sabotaging you? There's a reason for it, and I can help. Hi, I'm Dr. Katie, a plant-based nutrition and food freedom coach. I help people break through their resistance to sticking to healthy eating habits so they can thrive in mind and body through whole food plant-based lifestyle changes. So you find yourself in a situation where your nutrition hasn't been as good as you know it could be, and it's contributed to the development of some less than desirable conditions in your body. That might be excess weight, a chronic condition like cardiovascular disease or diabetes, or maybe just in general, you're not feeling great, like you're having lots of fatigue, low energy, achy joints, brain fog, things like that. Like maybe you get afternoon slumps and it's hard to push through the rest of your workday, like you're moving through mud. Maybe you choose to stay on the couch instead of taking your kids or your grandkids to the park on a nice day because it just sounds exhausting. Maybe you have a hard time concentrating, you forget where your keys are, or you're really irritable all the time. Maybe you're on prescription medications for a chronic condition that make you feel icky and you'd rather get off of them. If any of these applies to you, you've probably got something going on and nutrition likely has a lot to do with it. So if you want to feel better in your body, like be healthier, have more energy, have more mental clarity, get off those medications, you want to be excited about taking your kids to the park or dancing till late at night at your 40 year reunion, right? And why shouldn't you? Your body is naturally meant to be healthy. It's a vessel for you to experience life to the fullest. Like meet each new day with gusto, connect with and serve others with joy. And the road to optimal health is paved with good nutrition. And the science strongly suggests that the more whole food plant-based you can be, the more you'll be able to reclaim the health you deserve. But you probably already know this, don't you? Like at least on some level. So the question is, why is it so hard to implement? Why when you look ahead to your day tomorrow and you tell yourself, tomorrow I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna eat lots of vegetables, and I'm not gonna eat processed junk food. I'm going to have a vegetable stir fry and rice at home for dinner, and I'm not going to order out pizza and ice cream like I usually do. So why when you tell yourself you're going to do that, you don't? <laughs> Why does resistance come up inside you when the rubber meets the road, right? You get home from a long stressful day at work and you decide not to make the stir fry and rice, but to order the takeout. And then you eat half the pizza all by yourself. You fight the sugar cravings all day, but eventually give in and have way more ice cream than you intended. Or maybe you stick to your plan all day, but end up raiding the pantry and mindlessly eating for hours late into the evening, right? If this is you, then you've probably got what I call an unseen saboteur in your brain, and he's keeping you stuck in food prison. There's a resistance coming up from inside of you, coming from a part of you that wants to gorge on sugar and fried foods and doesn't care at all about your health goals or how you'll feel tomorrow. Again, I call that the unseen saboteur in your brain. We all have one to some extent. It's just... For some people, it's louder and stronger and more stubborn than it is for other people. But this, this is what I help people with because as a nutrition coach, I can go around all day telling you what to eat, what not to eat for optimal health. And I do, I certainly provide that kind of guidance, but it won't make an ounce of difference for you if that part of you, that unseen saboteur, is resisting you making those healthy changes. If you're not able to manage and overcome that resistance, then no amount of nutritional know-how will make any difference. Look, the longer you've been eating unhealthy and addictive foods, succumbing to cravings, succumbing to emotional eating, the more your health suffers, the more entrenched in unhealthy habits and addictive patterns you become, and the more those unconscious habits hold power over you and your food choices. So let me ask you this. How can you expect to get back to health and live your best life when that saboteur, that resistant part of you that wants you to continue eating unhealthily is driving the bus and controlling your food choices? As a coach, I can help you break through that resistance and actually create a life of vibrant health supported by good nutrition. Send me a DM to see if you're someone I can help.